Uh, let's first just kick off with how appetite for ESG friendly investments has evolved through the pandemic. Good morning, Juliana. Thank you very much for having me today. Uh, so uh, sustainable investing uh, has been significantly growing the last few years and uh, growing more than 30 percent uh, the last couple of years. So it's now more than 30 trillion of dollars of, of assets under management. And with the pandemic, of course, that, that trend is accelerating. Actually, at Clarity, we, we have seen an increase in demand uh, of more than three times the demand that we had pre-COVID. So that definitely accelerating the trend during this, this COVID situation. Rebecca, the tricky part of ESG investing is that there's no uniform definition for what is ESG, and it leaves a lot of subjectivity and a lot up to individual investors. Will we get to a place where there are uniform metrics to assess how ESG-friendly a company is? Yeah, that's definitely a challenge, yeah, the standardization of metrics or methodologies. Uh, actually, sustainable investing goes way beyond uh, just the ESG framework, right? There are other frameworks and other methodologies to, to assess sustainability and social and environmental impact. Um, the standardization of metrics uh, and methodologies is definitely a challenge that we try to address with Clarity. Uh, we provide a platform, technology platform to investors to help them understand the different frameworks and the different metrics and develop their own views on, on sustainability as well.